When something extraordinary happens to you, you want to understand it, and you want to share it if you can, but both of those things can take a while, and that's part of what I wanted to do with the Golden Archipelago. I grew up in the southeastern U.S., mostly in Baltimore and North Carolina, and I'd never really been anywhere else until I was 21, when this weird traveling fellowship sent me around the world for a year to visit remote places, especially islands, and so I ended up in all kinds of situations I couldn't have imagined. I worked on a bird survey in the Falklands. I lived in an Aboriginal settlement in a remote part of Queensland in the rainy season. I spent a few months living with an abalone fisherman and his wife on some islands off New Zealand. And then the last few months in a tiny Inuit village in the Arctic. And I came back with a pile of notebooks, videotapes, and a sense that it was going to take me a really long time to make sense of what had happened. For a while I thought I should try to do that by becoming a scientist. And so I went back to school to study the birds I'd first seen in the Falklands, and I spent some field seasons in South America, and I wrote a really long thesis. But I kept noticing that the questions that most interested me were things you can't really investigate with science. Like, why the fragments of an older, wilder world that I'd glimpsed seemed so full of a strange meaning and energy that's completely foreign to the Technopolis where we mostly live now. Or why islands seem to have such a great hold on our imaginations, whether we're talking about Lost or Homer. And through all of this, I kept writing music, and that eventually evolved into Shearwater when I first started playing with Kim and Thor about 10 years ago. My main job in Shearwater is to make the black and white 2D versions of the songs that the band then brings to life. But to write those songs, it's important to me to think of the album as a whole, as its own world with its own rules and central images. And for those images this time, I wanted to go back to those islands, back to specific people and places and events, but also feelings and impressions, like the overwhelming and thrilled confusion you feel when you arrive in a place that's unlike anything you imagined, when you realize that understanding what you're seeing might take years of research and backtracking. And I wanted the album to reflect that kind of confusion, a sense of entire worlds of which you only see tiny pieces, and then it's up to you to put them together.